fuck these niggas, man. Yeah, yeah, fuck about none of them, you feel me? Get this money. Take care of the family. Ain't shit else to do. Stay full, safe as can be, I'm a genius. It's a cold world and you niggas ain't need me. I'm so in love with me, I admit I'm a keeper. Finger fucked and I she say I'm stingy with my penis. Baby, I just got my product, need to add some water. Hey, dude, do you know what the executive producer is? Like, what does that even entail? You know, I've been executive producer I on some like shit. I feel like they didn't put their like, name up on some yeah, stuff. I'm, I'm an executive producer. Yeah, <laughs> my cousin think it is your friend do too. It be shit. I, it's some albums out here. Like, I, I executive produce that. Like, what do you... An Read the executive definition producer is one of the top positions in making in the making of a commercial entertainment product, depending on the medium. The executive producer may be concerned with management, accounting, or associated with legal issues. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I be doing that. But anyway, uh, like I said, Crush coming to theaters January 13th. We got the executive producers here, so I want to tap in with them. Man. Maybe they can tell us what they really do. (laughs) It's a collect a check. It's like an engineer, right? Like, what does an engineer do? Yeah. Yeah. And we we missed him one. Okay. Um, Delano Glass, which is another producer on the Crush film. But we got with us. Introduce yourself. Willow, too. And Willow, Willow Willow is a writer. Okay. He's actually the one who wrote this this script, um, this movie. Um, Well, first, introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm... Uh, Forever Meach, mm-hmm. um, executive producer, producer on the film Crush. And actor in it, right? Yeah, and I'm acting in it. Yeah, okay. yeah I keep forgetting yeah. that. Yeah. What's, the, uh, what's your character's name? EJ. I play EJ. EJ. Young EJ. Yeah, EJ <laughs> is, um, I think, uh, stirring up some some confusion in the movie or something. Nasty. What's EJ name? What's his first name, Earl? You know what? I, we, you know <laughs> what? Really? I think he just go by EJ. <laughs> I, think EJ Earl, I mean, he got to have a name. Irvin Jr. or something. Yeah, we you don't know go what what Emmanuel. Emmanuel, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Work and jerk. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it yourself. I'm Johnny. I go by Jay. Uh, no acting Thank for you. me. I like to stay behind the scenes. So I'm also uh, executive producer on Crush. Crush, that's coming out uh, late. January, early February should be on TV, but our premiere is going to be January 13th. Right. Yeah, Looking forward to it. Yeah. So, Jay, what was your role? Executive producer, what? You just behind the well, scenes? You, you dealing with the counter? Was you on set? Or what's up? I'm, what's the name of this podcast? People don't want to hear the truth. People don't want to hear the truth. The truth is, executive producer is a fancy word. I just know I spent some money. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I need a whole lot of money. I don't need no, you know, that's a fancy title. Um, me and Meech go way back. Uh, the the investment opportunity actually came to him. He brought me in, and uh, collectively we uh, funded Crush. Okay. Uh, they telling me I'm an executive producer. I'm just an investor is how I look at it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. Can't yeah. Movie can't get going out the money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do uh, a lot of business, but this is uh, new. very new yeah. from the things that I have done in the done in the past. So how, how's your feeling about that, though? Like, like, like you got a little anxiety a little bit? Like, and I ain't even talking about about losing out, but is it like, I can't wait to January to see where this go? Like, is this going to be the next lane for me? Like, you know? Honestly, it's crazy you just said that. I'm, I'm very excited. And and from the people that we talk, have spoken with, uh, you know, everybody's saying, you know, we should, pop, we should do good you know, as far as uh, the investment. But it's just a waiting game to wait and see. No, but with all sure. investments, it's a risk. Yeah. So, but chance to make champions, right? Man, you took the words on my mouth. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. No, Mitch, did you sure. enjoy the producing side or the acting side more? Acting. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably acting. Probably acting, because believe it or not, this um, it was hard work putting this together. Mm-hmm. We see movies and we think it's just. Maybe just be simple as far as just getting on screen mm-hmm. and just acting out a role, but with playing a, a actor and producing it, mm-hmm. I think we wore many other hats too. Mm-hmm. It was hard work. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. And that's one of the main things I think when I when, on our promo run, which is this and people don't want to hear the truth as our first stop for our promo run um, for December. Glad to have yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. a good thing. We clap it up for that. Yeah. Glad to have it. Yeah, but um, one of the things I want to stress to people is that when you think of supporting us and coming to see this movie, don't look at it like, oh, um, because they got a movie coming out, we want to go see it because we know them, we're family to them, mm -hmm. we're friends to them. Think about the hard work it goes mm -hmm. into making this. And I do music, and music is very easy compared to this. Mm -hmm. okay. Behind the scenes of this, I know y'all just had Hydro and Marietta, we really become a family. No sleep. I was probably, I don't know, I was probably the first one on set and the last one yeah. every day. So you, you stand away from your family. And it took us seven, I think we pushed it to eight days, mm -hmm. which, was a, as a, which was a stretch. But to shoot a movie in eight days, which typically might take nine days for this kind of movie, mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of tension. It was a lot of, uh, oh, man, you know what I'm ready saying? ready to go home. They're tired. Yeah, people ready to go home. Cranky. People are arguing. You're uh. trying to get the, the shot and the scenes um, shot in, in a certain amount of time. So it, it, it was it was stressful. So when you buy a ticket or even when it comes to Tubi and you go to watch this, just don't say, hey, I'm buying a ticket. or don't. I don't even want nobody to buy a ticket and say, I just bought it and don't show up. Mm -hmm. Really look at the work that it took for us to put this together. I'm talking countless nights. I didn't see my son. I, I remember a few times me and Jay spoke. He like, man, I didn't see my kids. He had, you know, he had to bring them on set. And um, and I did too. Maybe I think once or twice my son came. But I, you know, we was all so dedicated into this that, you know, again, I was going home, maybe sleeping for two hours, and yeah. back up to go back on, on set. So um, we just want people to just look at it from that type of view and support it, knowing what everybody put in. And not just the actors on the back end, people that you're not gonna see in the film, right. like a Jay. Um, or, or Tyler, you know, T. Rich. Or um, um, we even had, like, the, the um, crafts and service team that's going to get the food. Yep. You know, that's very important. You look yeah. at that like, oh, well, I'm going to pay a guy to go pick up food and snacks. No, you need it. Oh, my God, man, it's very important. Mm -hmm. So, again, I feel like even the little, and there's no such thing as nobody being little, but people that, in your mind, is not the big person, even that person, even if you was a person cleaning up on set, I think that person should be able to bring out 30 people. Right. Because that person played a major part into making mm -hmm. this movie be what it is. A person like me who do the key grips, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. they don't know about key grips. I yeah. did I did key grips. I could have brought the food. I could have made some. No, nah, I'm talking about I want key grips. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't call me to bring nothing. Yeah. I want to bring something. I got you next time. No, that's what's up. Um, it looks horrible. What's your favorite? What was your favorite, favorite, favorite part of doing this job? My favorite part was so naturally I'm a I'm a movie buff. I love movies, watching movies. So uh, being a part of this and seeing how the movie is coming together, seeing the behind the scenes part of how the movie was is actually being made. You know the cuts, the takes, and you know, them doing multiple scenes, you know, saying the same lines, but you got to get it from this angle, that angle, that. That's what I love about it, you know. The cinema, just, what is it, cinematography? Just seeing everything <laughs> from the lights, the sounds, the director. Uh, shout out to our director, T. Rich. Uh, he did an amazing job. Um, but, yeah, so that's that's my favorite part, just seeing dope. the behind-the-scenes part, dope. you know. Dope, dope. What about you? Yeah, um, my favorite part. Was probably I think I, I, I correlated to um, when they say buying a boat. You know, the, the best your know, best time with a boat is the day you buy it and the day you sell it. Yeah. <laughs> and in my experience, I ain't gonna lie. The first day I was excited. The last day I was that same excitement. It's a wrap. For right, it to right, be a wrap right, right. and to be over with. But in between mm -hmm. though, we had a lot of fun and like he say, just mm -hmm. getting the different shots. Again, I come from like the music video world where you don't have to get that many shots. So in this, you get maybe two, three different shots. You have to stay in character. You have mm -hmm. to, and not just watching for me. Um, I love watching the Mariettas, the, the Kimikas, hydros. and the Hydros, and they playing their role because the energy that they had to have for one scene, shooting it maybe six times, different angles, Man. that took a lot of work. And that's going back to what I said about when you support us, you have to look at the work 
that each actor and actress put into this to make it such a unique movie. You know? no, that's what's up. I never looked at it. I never looked at it that yeah. way. Yeah. The question I have though is, um, what were some of the challenges <laughs> filming as far as like sets, locations, all that type of stuff? You know, I'll watch movie. I'll watch movies, and it's like. Okay, this person went to jail. He in a jail cell. You got to find an actual cell. <laughs> Did y'all have challenges in this movie as far as, like, locations or finding these venues or who does it? Um, Meech actually came in clutch with <clears throat> a bulk of the locations. So most of the filming is at uh, homes, and then you're going to see we have a, a scene that's at a church. But um, Meech can probably speak more to, to the... Uh, he actually was able to secure some some nice nice homes for us. Mm-hmm. You want to talk? And about that, that was that that was a lot. A lot of that was done in just the pre planning of putting this movie together between me and Jay. Um, as far as locating location scouting, because he is in real estate, mm-hmm. so he had he had homes that was available. Um, already on, staged. Already, yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So it was just depending upon availability. Um, but then when it came down to it, some things was iffy. We didn't know if we can get in these places during these times that we needed to. So it's just um, just us working together. I just you know stepped in and said, okay, let me see what I can do, and we made it happen. Um, and like you say, the locations was was um, was very clutch, not just on me, but just with the the connections and relationships I have with people to allow us to get in these places and make it happen. Okay. Yeah. So for my own personal interest, and I probably shouldn't be saying this on there, looking at, you know, finances, you've been an investor or whatever, and you knowing this type of stuff, is it a market out here for sets? Say I was to purchase me a, a warehouse, and I got a jail cell over here, I got a church over there, all in one building for these movies, because I feel like Detroit is expanding with this movie. Yeah. When I go on Tubi, every movie is Detroit. Yeah. So I feel like people need places to shoot. I got a bedroom scene over here. I got this. I got that. If I put that in one central location, can I pro up off of that? Well, so so for me, uh, uh, for me, shout out to um, Candice, which she she um, she was the makeup artist on the set of Crush, Candy Coated, very good um, special effects person, very good person in general. She actually walked me through the doors of. Um, um, DR2 Production Studios, which is Dennis, Dennis Reed. Reed. Dennis Reed. And I was able to see he have a whole setup that's out this world with, you know, a church, jail cells, police stations, mm. um, hotel rooms. Okay, so he got that. He he got mm. that. He got that. And, I hear, and, and Lisa, she I've seen um, on the internet that she has a place like that too. But going off what I've seen personally, um, Dennis Reed got that on lock okay. as far as um, having those type of um, available spaces for, you know, the, the That's movie That's what's up, but but I to, don't like monopolies. But to piggyback off your question, too, um, like, like, so I have rental properties. You could, so one of my properties is, it's on the east side of Detroit. It's fully furnished. So, you know, you can have that, that property and do it all. You can open right. it up for people who... Our shooting movies. I also I rented out. It was just Airbnb running. type. Yeah, Airbnb. Airbnb. So you can have multi purpose. Multi purpose. Yeah. yeah. So I, yeah, I think the film industry. Um, I, I think if I was to go and purchase a house, I got a brother that's into real estate too, and I hit him up a few times. Like About it. actually, him and her husband share a property together. That. I kept hitting them up like, man, you playing? Yeah. Like, man, you can rent this house out for X amount of dollars a day. Right. People are looking for houses, and you can rent this pro- this same house you out to. Me. Yeah, I should have called you. I should have called you. Could have said. <laughs> yeah, we really could have. <laughs> but you could, because because they got set designers. Yeah. So it's not like I can show you maybe a movie. Well, different movies that use the same house that you would never even realize. Right. They use yeah. the same they change house. the decor. They change and everything. All that type of stuff. So I think it's a market, and if it was yeah. me, I would Definitely. buy a house and use strictly for the Detroit. Hey, did we gotta do the what's name? We gotta do build a city like Tyler Perry. Like Tyler Perry, <laughs> you, you know had to get a, you yeah. gotta get an I'm army gonna buy base. A block. I'm gonna buy a block like on a the east side, right. and we just go what's the name. Buy a block. Think that was like a navy basic block. Right. We gonna buy. We gonna buy. Who came up with this idea for this movie? It sounds pretty amazing. Like, who wrote this? 
Uh, so one of our the so it's it's four of us. So yeah. it's me, Meech, Dwayne Glass, mm -hmm. and you have uh, Willow. So uh, Dwayne couldn't be here. He's a little under the weather. Willow is out of state. So we got the script from Willow. Okay. So uh, Willow, Big Willow, shout out to Willow. That's who uh, originally brought me the script. Mm -hmm. Brought me the script, and uh, Willow and Dwayne are partners. So we're all partners on Crush. But basically, it's like two sides. You got Dwayne and Willow. They know each other. Then me and Meech, we know each other. But then we all four collaboration came together to make uh, Crush happen. But so Willow had the script. Okay. Yeah. So they, where, they, where they based out of? Oh, everybody's from Detroit. Oh, they everybody. Willow's out of state right now, but still from Detroit. Everybody's from the D. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that kills my next question, because I was like, what made you want to be a part of the movie? But y'all wrote it together. Will, right? Willow, Willow. The, Willow, uh, Willow brought the script. What made me want to be a part of it? Yeah, money, the money. <laughs> but but I mean, but but you can invest your money in anything. What made you? What made this script specialty? Well, um, when I dove into the script, uh, it's a dope script, and I'm not even trying to be biased. It's gonna be a dope ass movie. Like I'm so proud of this. You know how you put your energy and time into something and it's, your, and it's your baby. This is this, you know, I stand like a few times me and Meech, we've been talking and I mean, we talk almost every day anyway, but specifically since we've been doing Crush, you know, we've been talking even more than we already talked. Yeah. And you know, I've told him several times, I stand by Crush. It don't matter that, you know, we have something to do with it and, and we produced it, paid for it, whatever. I'm like, I stand by it. It's gonna be a good movie. You know, and I and I said to him, you know, I don't want something where all my family is coming. You know, I it's not. I want something where, not just because I'm a part of it, I want them to leave and be like, damn, yeah, that, that was a art. dope ass That's movie. What's up. Like you said, the the work, the artistry of it, you want it's, them to appreciate it. It's 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 a good movie. It's okay. a good movie. Yes. I know. I Did any woman get beat in there? Because <laughs> it. it's a consensus. Look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. Did any man slap a I'm, woman in this movie? Just tell me. I, I'm not gonna give it over the movie. It's a little. It's a little action. It's a little okay. fighting. Yeah. But I Did Marietta you, win the fight? I, I'm not. You gotta watch the movie. But no, we. I, I can't say this part. We don't have no man hit no women okay. in right. this movie. Yeah. I can say that. Yeah, you okay. know, without giving away too much. There wasn't no right. DV in here. Okay. We, yeah, yeah, there's no none of that. No, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so without giving the movie away, I asked uh, Marietta and uh, Hydro, can you explain your favorite part of the movie? Or without giving it away. without giving it away, um, want to give a, give the audience a little teaser? My favorite part. Favorite part. When Marietta won the fight. Y'all ain't gonna tell me. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I was amazed at um, one, I guess you would say, action scene mm -hmm. on how we made it come to life. Mm -hmm. And that was really all with Tyler. I think, okay. you know, Tyler really captured that and knew how to shoot it. And, 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 and I think that, that that's something that I watched behind the camera. And I was like, dang, that looked. That is crazy, and when you see it on camera, there's no way that you would say that it's fake or you know it was it wasn't real. Yeah. That was probably one of the things I was wild by. But one of my favorite scenes um, would probably be probably um, so. This movie is based the couple, which is Hydro and Marietta, the married couple. They're a church going. Um, couple. Yeah. They look saved. They yeah. look saved. And so we I think we, she has we yeah. <laughs> we, we a slip. <laughs> we, Hallelujah. We spent we spent some time in a church. <laughs> yeah. We got some church fans. Yeah. I'm sorry. We no, we we spent some time in um in a church and there's a church scene that I think even all the extras in this scene we were able to um and I think Ron what is it? What's his name? Ron, is it Ron Love? Who, the, who did the gospel song? I don't, I don't even want to say the wrong name. I don't know his name offhand. It was a real church? No, oh, real, yeah, church. real church. But yeah, the church. song that they sung, mm -hmm. even me, we all caught on to the words, it, and it is a good song, and it's mm -hmm. a part, it's going to be part of the soundtrack, mm -hmm. but 
everybody caught on to it so good, and you was able to just to recite the the it lines. Was, it was like y'all was really in church. It's like we really was in church, and I really so EJ enjoyed went that. To church? Yeah, EJ. Did went anybody feel any type of way? Because when I go to church, my head starts steaming sometimes. Right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't be one to burst in the flames. You know what I'm saying? Like, did anybody feel like weird or anything? I can't no, be a part of this so. foolish. I don't know. <laughs> no, it was cool, but I like that scene yeah. because yeah. I don't. I haven't been to church in a while, um, but to be in there and mm-hmm. Did you have sweat? some good music, Did you sweat. No, I wasn't caring to man. EJ was. Oh, EJ was being EJ. EJ was yeah. sitting in the spirit. Yeah, he did his thing. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm proud of you, cousin. I am. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good movie. Yes. No, I'm really looking forward to the premiere. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be a good What's the name? Is we going to have some at the parties or stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, actually, yeah, we are. For sure. Are. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's a that's a whole day event. We got to carry it on, you know? Yes. Which I will I'm say. I'm watching the movie twice. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The, the, the matinee. Oh, yeah. Is that, that's that the matinee? Good. Uh, party good. We got to eat in between there. We're going to party. It's going to be great. <laughs> No, it's gonna be a, a amazing. No, day. I, I think, got to be. I think most importantly, when it when it does come out, our original release is gonna be on Tubi. We need you to to put it on every TV that's in your yeah, house. 100%. Every TV. Yeah, hundred percent. Y'all hear that? Don't every watch device. It on just one. Just the one, kids, the kids your running TV, with your the phone. iPad. Every, we just play it on every TV. Mm-hmm. And like me, so I work. I work the midnight shift. You know, I get off in the morning. I go home. I go to sleep. Just when you go home, before you go, just put it on. Put it just on. let it run. As many, just, no, just let it run. It as, I do it all day. Keep just let it run. TV. I mean, you can watch it, then fall asleep. Mm-hmm. But yeah, even people that you know work the midnight shift like me, just get off and just put it on. Yeah, no, that's what's up. Was was there? Y'all know I'm messy. Was there an actor that was just difficult? Was it just somebody that was just hard? They can't say that the movie ain't to work with. <laughs> Don't nobody care. We're not hiring them. They're no not gonna more. tell the they truth. This is in. business for them. They're not gonna tell the truth. That's their kid. No. Whoever you are, you can't. You're not welcome back. They, we not hiring you no more. Was it an actor or a moment that <laughs> was very? That. Y'all don't want to be unprofessional. Oh no, I got, a, I got a real, I got a real, <laughs> yeah. real okay. standard HR answer. Ah, we don't so want to answer. All, answer I'm, I'm give him another. I want to hear it. I want to dissect. I do it. need okay. another drink. But all of our <laughs> actors, man, I have a new fire on appreciation for this for this mm. field. And, you know, I tell people all the time, people that's going to watch this, they, they already know. I'm a serial entrepreneur, right? I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. This is what I do. Okay. I invest. <laughs> so me coming into this space, I think I can say, you know, Meech has his videos and everything. But for this, I'm green. We're, we're green. Yeah. We're green. We're learning stuff. Like yeah. even Hydro told us. Hydro pulled us to the side. Shout out to Hydro. He said, look. Y'all do know y'all was supposed to be doing twelve on and twelve off. Yeah, he did. Oh. So we was doing. What was y'all doing? They was all together. We was doing twelve to six hours. We was doing twelve to fourteen hour days. Yeah. So we wow. was we was starting at eight nine in the morning, ending at ten o'clock at night, uh, and then having the cast come back nine in the morning. morning. Yeah. Oh, no. So you know. He let us know, like, no, nah, that's, that's not really, that's not really how it's done. Yeah. You well, do by that, that time, we six days in. We, yeah. yeah. You know, so it's people tired. Yeah, people, so everybody, that, you know. everybody was tired. What was the original? Oh, appreciation for the actors. So, um, no, I don't have No, the any, bad actors. It, nobody <laughs> nobody <laughs> was playing. bad. Everybody came, <laughs> you know, they got up early. They, they, they ended late. Mm-hmm. And got back up early, and they came out. Stellar and, cast. And stuff Nobody cast. got fired. Nobody got fired. Nobody, Nobody, got, no. fired. Nobody got fired. Nobody got fired. Nobody got fired. Somebody cut him. On the back. On the on the on the on the on the back end. Who somebody. got fired? <laughs> who got fired? No, this was somebody who played a uh, a role behind the scenes. A staff, they got fired. How you get fired? Was if fired. Was a they wasn't fired by me and me. They How you get fired? As a standby, like. A standby? No, no, a man no, walking no. down the street. Fire. No, 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 not, not, not an extra, not an extra. Not an extra. <laughs> Somebody that was really working on the set, okay. on the on the staff. Yeah. And they had the staff. Staff. It wasn't yeah. the key grips, was it? Who fired no. them? Who fired them? I'm Chicken. not even gonna. Honestly, I won't say that they got fired. Was it a male or a female? <laughs> was it a male or a female? I Sexual sauce coming so. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even say fired, to be honest with you. They didn't get yeah. they didn't get fired. They, 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 they just leave. didn't go. <laughs> they threw these motherfuckers. They were just asked to leave. Crush, 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 don't entertain us. Don't entertain the dumb stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want to tell the truth. Yeah. Crush, 2024. But, but I, I, do, I do think 
uh, in all seriousness, that this film was meant to happen. Okay. And it was mm-hmm. meant to happen with the people that it's happening with. 100%. Even like when, when Jay found out about it, mm-hmm. the way we met that day never happens. And, mm-hmm. I, and we talked about this on set mm-hmm. one day at the table. I don't know if you want to, because he the explained it met. to me. You the way him. me and him met that day. Yeah. Not met, we've been knowing no, each other. No, I'm saying, like the way y'all bumped into each other that so day. Even, yeah. yeah, I don't know if you want to explain. It was yeah, yeah, so I had, um, our neighborhood is is in Detroit, Seven Mile Van Dyke area, and my mom is still over there. So I was going just to visit her, but I always, uh, before I go to her block, you know, I ride down a different Slide block. Exactly, mm-hmm. right. And uh, I seen that, you know, we had people out. So I went and seen my mom, and uh, he we end up talking. Like, me and me, we talk or text every day, either a talk or a text, or, you know. And I was just like, yeah, I'm in the neighborhood. You know, pull up. And uh, so we end up pulling up, and we start drinking. And, you know, when he started drinking, he get goofy as hell. <laughs> and uh, he just ended up bringing it up to me. You know, he's like, Jay, I'm, I'm about to invest in this movie. And I'm like, what? He like, yeah, you know, I'm about to invest in this movie. And we talked for about, we sat in my car, maybe about 30 minutes we talked about it, and I was sold, you know. I was, you know, because the thing is with me and Meech, we hang out, we go out. We done been friends since we was 12, 13. You know, even even with investing in this movie, no issues, not one problem. You know, we decided this how we going to do it. We're going to split everything down the middle. And uh, that's any issues we have with the movie, it didn't have nothing to do with me and him. No, for yeah. sure. You know, and it, and it was meant to happen, just not on that level. But there was a certain budget for this movie, <laughs> and we all exceeded. Oh, we, oh man. tremendously! We, I we think anybody else would have, yeah, would have, would have yeah. said, "Forget this," because this wasn't yeah. in a budget. But we were willing to go over and beyond. But if we know anything, you know <laughs> that. It always start at one price and it always go mm-hmm. above it. And it don't. It, it go above it. It don't double. Yeah. Oh, man. this well, probably almost triple. Yeah. yeah. It it mm. went it went way over, way over. Yeah. So, like any other project, like some stuff happened. Now you you refer to it as your baby, but things happen. You have doubts. You have people that might you might let go. All of these things happen. But was there a moment where you knew, like, okay, this is special, and and then it's coming together. I see it. You know what I'm saying? This is it. This is this for, is worth triple. You for, know what I'm saying? For me, it was the third, I want to say it was the third day of filming. Mm-hmm. I knew we had something amazing. You know, and shout out to Tubi. You know, Tubi gets a lot of jokes and stuff on, online. Now they putting us on. Shout out Tubi to Tubi. Tubi is putting us on. <laughs> shout out to Dennis Reed. You know, about the third day of filming, I knew we had something Mm -hmm. special, you know. And again, you know, people that's going to watch this podcast or watch this interview, until you see the movie, Mm -hmm. then you're going to revert back to this. When he was like, that guy was saying they had something. Now I see. Yeah, we we have something special. We have, man, just a, a dope script, dope actors, dope actresses, the plot, everything. We need to talk about that. Yeah. Pop. Well, we'll yeah. And, well, well, first, let me piggyback off that. Mm-hmm. How I knew was when I saw Q Nika, Hydro, and Marietta get into character. I had already seen Marietta um, act in Street Legal. Right. At the time, that was probably the only thing that I saw her in. Mm-hmm. And if you watch that, you know her role is not really... She got a main role. Right. But I watched it, the, but it's kind of... She's kind of like in jail... For most of mm-hmm. it, so you just seeing her Mary pop Adam in it. Says, Gee, I got to watch yeah, that. yeah. So <laughs> and she that's a series. In. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, that's it's a, series. a series. So she she popping in and out, and then Kunika, even in, in the, at the table reads, I was, I think I was for the long hair, mm-hmm. and I guess because lately she's been wearing short hair. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought the long hair would fit better, and that was only because of a, an example cover photo we had of the movie of how the girl looked. Mm-hmm. Of how Ebony, which is a role Kunika played, look, and then Hydro, me just knowing him, I've been knowing Hydro for a long time. Um, 
being one way. So to see him get into character to play a, a guy a cornball. that's totally <laughs> different than who that's he is. That's what I was going to ask. Like, what made you think to choose him to play a cornball? He a rapper. <laughs> he got all this what? swag. Go ahead. So when we was when we was deciding on the um, Andre uh, Andre's uh, character, um, Meech Meech Meech, uh, he said he said Jay, you know I, I think Hydro will, will do it, and um, me having faith and trusting him, you know we we do a lot of business together, other stuff together, you know I say look if that's what you're saying, and then Hydro killed it. He killed, and, and that's killed what I'm saying. It. That's what made me believe seeing killed him, it. seeing Qnika. And then Mary Etta just being so good because street legal was it was different. So these are all three um, people that played a role that, that, was, that opposite. was totally opposite of what I know them as. And mm-hmm. that's when I knew we had something special. So you want to speak on the plot um, without giving away the movie? I know. So, so basically we have a married couple. Mm-hmm. Um, they're tro- church goers. Um, they both are doing pretty good for themselves. They meet this young lady um, at church, and you know she she has an interest, you know, in in the husband. But it's not your typical movie. Uh, what she decides to do is kind of get close to the wife. You know, she doesn't. That's the she move. Be, she be friend. She doesn't automatically act on her uh, feelings towards the husband. Uh, she gets close to the wife. Uh, with her being close to the wife, she's naturally now, she's in their circle. So she's around him more. Mm-hmm. And uh, she begins to plant seeds in his head that his wife may not be, you know, this goody two-shoes that he thinks she is. And then from there, it's just crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And you just got to watch it. Uh, it's, it's, it's yeah, good. Hydro yeah, and uh, Marietta spoke Mm-hmm. They unlock some new stuff with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Hydro and uh, Marietta <laughs> spoke on uh, Kuniko's performance. Oh my god, uh, amazing! This, so we, she, we did, she did, she did She deserved so, an Oscar. Oh, shout an out Oscar. to shout out okay. to Sloppy Seconds. I just watched that. The I just other, watched it. I just watched that the other night. <laughs> um, she was in that in our movie. Uh, she's she's playing a different role, different yeah. character. Mm-hmm. And when I say um, so let's give him a little truth. We can give him a little truth. We had a, we had a casting call. Uh-huh. We had a casting call for Crush, and it was a couple people there that we thought could maybe play that role. Mm-hmm. You know, let's just yeah. we just keeping it and we keeping it real. And, and with the thought of having Unica in mind of playing it, yeah. But when we did the casting call, she blew it out the water. Oh, it was one. <clears throat> One girl. Mind you, I asked was... Meech to send me the <coughs> lead role script. He never yeah, you could have played. Well, no, let's, play. let's make sure you get what we're saying. So, oh, yeah, so Q, Q was already mm-hmm. in our mind for her role, but we, we still had the casting call. Mm-hmm. And at the casting call, it was a couple people that stood that out. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you we would have been kicking <clears throat> ourselves if we wouldn't have went with Q, mm-hmm. she... She That's played good. the yeah, shit. Can we cuss yeah. on this? Yeah. yeah. She played the fuck out of this role. We're being politically correct because y'all on here. Man. We're ready to get canceled. Right. Yeah, we're trying to get canceled. Yeah. Man. When, like, I, when, I, when I say she did her thing. That's what's up. She so did she probably her crazy in real thing. life? Huh. <laughs> she probably crazy in real life. She ain't gonna come. Uh, yeah. All, yeah. all seven, eight days, this girl had us laughing. Every yeah. Day. Behind the scenes, behind the scenes, on camera. That's we should have had a behind the scenes camera yeah. person. Yeah, we could have made money off that footage. Exactly. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, Q Nigga. We, yeah. talk, we talked about, about that. We talked yeah. about yeah. yeah. No, I watched her transition in you know in many ways. Just no you know, we high school together. I know Norner through y'all. Like I only know who she is because of you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. y'all or whatever. But I. When you sit back and watch, I mean, through the social media eras and all that, I've seen her host parties. Mm-hmm. She hosted parties that me and Meech had or whatever. Yeah, that yeah. was our host, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And watch her do other things. So to see her transition, I've been to some of her premieres. Uh, we went to the one premiere of the movie Six Mile that she Six was Mile, in. Yeah. So I have saw her Which, acting or whatever. And, and, and to, um, to speak about Six Mile, too, another good thing is that a lot of these people, which Willow and um, Delano, are a part of, and that's how this all came about. We were originally sitting down discussing Six Mile, 
which is a, a TV series that's going to come out. So yeah. even in Crush, you will see a lot of people from that show. From that show in there. In this, and, and mm-hmm. Q being one, you got Benny. Um, you and you're going to see a lot of familiar faces, mm-hmm. even in scenes that we use extras in. That's important people, whether it's in the music industry or in the film industry as well. And one being, um, which is uh, close to me and a family member, Nadia Calhoun. Oh, wow. Amazing actress. And she kind of the one that opened me up into really um, sitting down with people, like one of them being Joe Smith, which is a director, which was a meeting I was coming out of when me and Jay ran into each other mm-hmm. to even sit down and discuss um, going further with Crush. But Joe Smith is an amazing director. Um, he got a good man. And then got a good man part two that's coming. Mm-hmm. Y'all should watch a good man part one is re- really good, and part two should be out soon. But Nadia is the one who really, me and her was on the phone um, day and night talking about this for months or probably up to a year about how I can get my feet in the door because she already had her feet wet dealing with like the Kamal Smiths um, and different people like that. And being around and, and playing roles in, in so many different films and then end up. Um, having her own film drop, which is on Tubi now. Um, what is the name of it? She's going to kill me. Um, you want me to Google? We can Google it. <laughs> yeah, we can Google yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, yeah. But, but she, she, she have an amazing movie. But she's a big staple, I think, on the Detroit music scene and even connecting the dots. And she for sure connected the dot for me. I don't I, Without her, I don't even think Crush would be would possible. Be possible. Oh, because she got out. me. Yeah, big, so shout big shout out, out to Nadia. Nadia. For yeah, sure. Big shout out. Yeah. Would you guys or will you guys do this again? <laughs> with all of the so, pain and look, the money? So even with that question, I, I want to add something to it. Okay. And not not to speak negatively or it's we, not we, like that. We may have but Kanika say, here too, y'all. Real oh quick. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pick. The, can I pick up? The yeah, phone? pick yes. up the phone. No, put it on. Kill. Put on the speaker. Oh, I kind of. What time is it? Yeah, kind of. I'm gonna send you the um, address. Okay. She's gonna be the grand finale. Yeah. <laughs> But go ahead. What was y'all question? I'm sorry. No, I said I was going to add on it, oh, add on to it, and, and I'm not saying this in a negative light or even to think about that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always the devil's advocate person. But say this doesn't meet y'all expectations for your investment or whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you feel I'm like you would still do it, it again? Jesus. Go ahead. Yeah, I like being involved with this. Do you feel like, okay, this was our first one. We thought it was going to do this and do that. I'm, I'm ready to do part two, like, or whatever. Would you do it again? First. You saying if it doesn't meet meet the mark financially? Yes, for you. Or what, what you expect? So would you do it again? Um, for so it's, it's a for us not to recoup our investment would be like that's kind of like not possible. Okay. Like at the bare minimum, we we're going to recoup our investment. Well, that's a great investment. I was gonna say that's a smart investment. Now, then. If it doesn't do the numbers that are being projected to us, uh, that's a different thing. Say you break even. You break even. January coming, you break even. Are you doing crush too? I got an ex. I got an excellent answer. So uh, we were in. We were on set in. Where was we at? Was it the one house? It don't matter. But yeah. When Dennis Reed came. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Farmington. Yeah. Yeah. Farmington. So we were on set in Farmington and and. Uh, shout out to Farmington. Dennis Reed, no, shout out to Dennis Reed. Yeah. Dennis Reed came through, and we had about a 30-minute talk. And, you know, the way he explained it is, you know, I would do it again because it's all about scale. You know, next year, my plan would be to drop maybe three movies. You know, if two of them flop and one of them does good, you won. Uh, then I can recoup my money, you know, for all, the money I spent for all three. Yeah, no, for sure. So, you know, if this one gives me my money back, bare minimum, I would definitely do it again. Um, you know, and just keep going from there. Okay. What about you, you know? Uh <laughs> I would, would you do though. It again? Yeah, yeah. I do it only because I'm. I always had an interest into doing movies. I remember in shit, middle school. I shot a movie with our camcorder, 
My father in law called him superstar, the superstar. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I, and then I um, I attempted to do one once I graduated Specs Howard, um, but I never fell through with it. Mm. So I got a love for just entertainment and, and things like this. So, yeah, I'll do it again for sure. And that's what the question was. That was a loaded question. I just wanted to see where y'all was yeah. at on how did y'all feel about the movie and what's your passion for it? You know what but I'm saying? No, when no. you bring the, the money man in and you say, I'm here for the investment. Right. You, if you bring me in for investment and be like, oh, this, uh, we broke even or uh, we fell short, you might take that investment somewhere else. But mm. you said it was your baby. Oh, yeah. You feel me? So I if it's like, I enjoy this, mm-hmm. I, sometimes, and I mean, it's probably a fault of mine. I probably didn't screw make myself up. Baby. I'll, um, <laughs> you know, waste some money on things that I have a passion in. Mm-hmm. Because I see the vision for it and I'll yeah. keep trying at it. And sometimes I felt like I gave up on stuff too soon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It could be music or something and be like, we spent all this money to do this and we didn't push it the right way or didn't get the reception. And then you give up on it when mm-hmm. you could have kept going and probably got some out of it. You Man, know? We we stand by Crush 100%. It was, uh, it was times where he had to talk me off the ledge. I had to talk him off the <laughs> ledge. Yeah. Y'all know me. Me, you know, it was it was it was some conversations. I'm like, you know, no. Nah, I'm like, cuz, how you doing? He said, I I don't sleep. Yeah, yeah, we did talk, right? We talked. I said, hey, look, I'm not sleeping. I, said, I'm not I haven't sleeping. had no sleep. Hey, you know? It was it was it was times for both of us and but we both had the vision that we gonna see it through. You know, Meech, I remember one time he said, Jay, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he said now, mind you, he like saying that. this when we we you deep. Oh, we deep. We're just too deep. But what I tell you, what I tell you though, what I tell you. <laughs> he said, I don't give a fuck. I said, but I said we'll make it back. We'll make it back. Being that we hug, I swear. I said, like, fuck it. He said, I'm ready to give up. <laughs> we'll make this money back. But being that we were so dedicated to the film, um, we stuck through it, and I swear that Man. it's a movie that you you. I, I told him a lot of times, reading the script, one of the things I had problems with was saying that this seemed like a movie I saw before. Right. Mm-hmm. I think I had saw it at least mm-hmm. five, six times. When the bow breaks, obsession. Yeah, yep. exactly. All of those yeah. type of things. But uh, they put spins on it. It's the, the, not, not, not just the spin. I think in film, and even in music, when you speak in real, it's timeless. Like if you listen to Tupac still or Biggie. Right. Mm-hmm. When you're dealing with real life situations, I don't think that never gets old. That's like this telling me that you could see, and, so and it happen happens today. every day. So and that, chicks maneuver differently. Yeah. So that, is that why so it's almost slapped? I don't know, but but, it, <laughs> but look, it's like, almost it's almost like I was telling Jay. That's like telling me, okay, we're gonna. We, I watch a movie, and I say, oh, not another girl being pregnant in a movie again, but right. that's real that's life. Real it life. happens. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? People get pregnant yeah. every day. So in, in Crush. There is a a stalker chick or a crazy chick, mm-hmm. um, I think, in maybe six out of ten situations, depending mm-hmm. on what area where you're from. There's somebody like that to a guy or even maybe to a woman. Mm-hmm. So I had to look past um, the fact that this was something, again, like the obsessions and, and, and movies like that, and um, just stick with the fact that we had something special, different, yeah. unique, and from a different perspective. Right. So it's, it's amazing. Crush... Everybody has a crush, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 how how far is that crush willing to go to win you over? I don't call it a crush when it gets to that moment. And nice. shit. Yeah, yeah, there ain't yeah. No crush but it started off as a crush, you know, yeah. and uh, how it ends is is totally <laughs> it's not, um, it's crushed. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> crushed. Yeah, it becomes crushed, not crushed. So not I was crush. privy. I was privy to a, a strip <laughs> that you showed me before that was completely original. I feel like you know what I'm saying is that something that you will pursue. Yeah, yeah. That that script is actually again going back to Nadia, um, something that we talked about. And I'm gonna get the lead role scripts. So yeah, I can yeah. I gotta at least be an extra. I gotta be a no, party goer. I, I, I want yeah. the lead role. I'm gonna give me a girdle <laughs> and put it all together. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, she she connected me with another high school friend of ours. His name is Kiefer. He actually put my vision in in script form. Um. And you know, made it happen. He um, he brought it into that that form, and I was gonna begin to shoot that one, but then um, Crush came about. First, it was discussions about Six Mile. 
Six Mile and then Crush came about. Jay, you know? favorite movie yeah, of all yeah. time. Answer your call. My favorite movie of all time. <clears throat> I like dramas, so I like uh Law Abiding Citizen. Classic. Whoa, that classic. was a good movie. Man, that's a good that's movie. That's a classic. Um, it, do we got Kanika in the car? I love those little What's twists up? at the huh? end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that was not nah, nah. she, she, she in route, though. We got to keep Nicky on. We can Excuse make that happen. Meet's favorite movie of all time. He said Law Abiding Citizen. Oh, Law Abiding Citizen. Citizen. I, I, um, I think that is a hell of a movie. That's a hell of a movie. <laughs> One of my favorites, and, and, and I'm basing it off my childhood. Well, when I was, I forget what grade I was in. Rugrats? But, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, training Day. Training Day. Training Day. I remember at this time, My see, dude. we was probably, we was working at Macomb Mall. Yeah. And I remember coming home from to working. Well, I'm coming, so I had school, and then I went straight to work after school, so I'm coming home late. But everybody in the house is already settled. They telling me, look, we just watched this movie. I think it was bootleg too. Yeah. They're like, man, it was yeah, crazy. I got my man. uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my uncle and my brothers, my sisters, they all telling me, man, this movie, man, was crazy. And I remember watching it. And and Denzel is my favorite actor. I know Hydro mentioned that yeah. earlier. Um, Trainer Day is one of the my best movies. Mm-hmm. Um, so that would probably because that come to mind first. That's one of them. He won the Oscar for that. Didn't yeah. I think, I don't know if First, they did my Oscar. Like, yeah, Bell Leo okay. Road, because I think Halle Berry won it in Monsters Ball. And yeah, all she did was get fucked on there. Dog, <laughs> did we not, <laughs> dog. But she got fucked. That's all. She did a good that. job. Billy Everybody Bob Thornton. She got fucked by Billy Bob Thornton. That's that's a, that's a hell I didn't of even want to see her naked because it was Billy Bob Thornton with her. I'm like, who wants to see this shit? <laughs> Halle Berry in a meth. A meth head or some shit like that. All I'm dumb. saying is it takes some real skill to let Billy Bob Thornton in. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all I don't even want to see that. All right. The actor that you would love to work with. Aside from Detroit actors, because we know they the best. Well, yeah, I don't like to localize it. You know, even when yeah. I was talking, I don't want to be like a Detroit movie or whatever. Yeah. But I think, you know, we Detroit. So we like I feel Detroit. like we we, we so in the definitely, movement. Yeah. Our music, the rap music, we finally, I feel like we finally got to the point to where we getting that shine. Mm. You People know what are saying? recognizing Detroit. Here they right mimicking now. us. They yeah. using Detroit beats. The shit that they used to say to us when I'd be riding a car, like, I don't want to hear Detroit music. Now <laughs> it'd be the mainstream. People with a beat that sound like mm-hmm. Detroit music. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's our turn, right? And then now when I look on Tubi, when I look on Tubi, all the movies, they Detroit yeah. based. Detroit, yeah. Look, I don't got cable because I refuse to pay cable. You, Couldn't watch the news. I looked on two bit said Fox Two. Yeah. I was happy. Like, oh, we can watch Fox Two in the morning off two no Why they cater to Detroit? Service. Because we run a nation. Yeah, we take you know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I love yeah. it. You know. So actor you would love to work with. So uh I'm gonna always be behind the scenes, so But you would love I, to have a one of your movies. Yeah, if uh-huh. if I ever get got to that point, um one of my favorite actors and, and one I would love to work with, multi-talented, is hands down Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Jamie Foxx is Just, hard to get the budget for Jamie Foxx. Especially when he had to I'm play. in the budget, Jamie. Oh, perfect. Remember that. <laughs> Man, you know, just, just the roles. Uh, just comes to mind the role he played in Ray. Man. Yeah. Man, he, that yeah. guy is just so talented. Um, if I continue... Continue in this space and and get to that level, mm-hmm. he will be definitely my first call. Okay, I would say Denzel. Denzel. Yeah. What about you? So I'm gonna ask them real what quick about you though. though. My favorite actor or you actress? Because you know this next Angela book. Bassett. Oh yeah, well, she, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. she's great. Yeah. Sure. She but everybody you know. mama. She was no. the Michael Jackson. She's still mama. fine too. Yes. She, everybody you see her? Mama. She like seventy, dog. She's and fine. She, <laughs> and she killing. And strapped. Yeah, like, yes. fine and strapped. Angela Bassett is cold, and I don't, I don't look at her and be like, "This is all like she had a bunch of work done." Mm-hmm. She cold. She work hard. Like, she work hard no, to play Tina cold. Turner. Yeah. So, who played the best portrayal? Denzel for Malcolm X, Jamie Foxx with Ray. Boom. Best portrayal. Portrayal. Denzel. Portrayal. 
portrayal. Denzel they played. Portrayed. Oh, 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 oh. Denzel portrayed Malcolm X. Ooh, Ray. And, and, Ray was cold. I'm going to say Denzel. She gave me money. And I'm going to say Ray. Ray was cold. <laughs> and I'm going to say Ray. Oh, Malcolm X, man. Man, man I'm Ray. going with Malcolm X. Yeah, yeah. man, it's all. Awesome. What I'm Did you see Ray? They both. They equal. Body him. Here's the thing. Okay, look. we just we just to play bar. No, for sure. But he can probably still see through the glasses. Yeah. We just coming off of a movie, right? Yeah. The work that it took, just the thought that I think Ray was long too, but I think Malcolm X was. Yeah, it was long. It was classic. Yeah. So classic. imagine all that work, and he stayed in character from the speeches and, and stuff like that. Ray wasn't like that. He just a slick talker. Got the hose. He doing what he do. It was like against me. He you had to be blind, like yeah, though, against, bro. You had to be still, blind. I know he had parts where they had his eyes a certain way when he didn't have the glasses on. But again, if I could have had my eyes closed doing some scenes and crush, I think it would have been easier for me. Hey, your eyes so he had a crunch. Yeah. He could, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and crush, if I had my eyes closed to do a scene, yeah. it would have been a lot easier for me. So, Malcolm X is definitely one of Malcolm my favorite Malcolm X is a movies. classic. Ray yeah. is a classic. They both, classic. They both did great. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They, they both, both did great. great. But there are several other movies where I'd be like, damn, they played that role. Like, I damn mm-hmm. there. Believe him. He look at him. He looked like him. Malcolm you know X was one. That, that yeah, one that's one for sure. Yeah. Detroit Red. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. I do have a question, and you don't have to answer it, um, but there seemed like some animosity between Tyler Perry and Spike Lee. I don't know if y'all are aware yeah. of it. They be, um, they be beef on each other? Well, Tyler Perry doesn't be. Spike Lee spoke against uh, Tyler Perry as if he was some type of Sambo because he wears a dress and um, things like that. Billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, now. Billion dollar problems. Um, <laughs> That's that's big money problems. Big money problems. So, do you feel like you would that you that you would limit yourself or your genre so that you would be perceived as woke, like Spike Lee, or would would you put yourself out there a little bit more and and do more diverse things like a Tyler Perry? Well, so, I don't call that diverse. What are you doing? I mean, wearing no, dresses I'm, and all that type of shit. That I well, I I'm saying say he. Because Spike Lee, I, I would say there's a lot of diversity with, with Tyler Perry because it's not just Medea. It's uh, jazz man blues. It's, uh, he, he's ventured off to uh, different no, things. He's creative. So, right. But he Spike Lee has a lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the camera doing like this. And yeah. Shit. yeah I, I but how would you? He, he's, that's his cinematic that's signature. Yeah. Like this, um, like, I'm dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think for us. The style. Coming from where we come from, right? Mm-hmm. If anybody, if you interviewed anybody else from our hood, they would have said if Meech and Jay doing a movie, then it's going to be this type of movie, which was some, some hood robbing shit. hood street shit. Mm-hmm. This is totally different than what we or anybody could have thought that we could have pulled off. It's a romantic thriller. It's a, yeah, it's a romantic thriller. Romantic thriller. thriller. So that right there, I think, coming into this game with something so different like that from what we've known. And not that we've known as being bad people, but where we come from. Yeah, I think if a, you act, it's, yeah. what you story. Gravi- yeah. it's what you gravitate yeah. to. It'd be like, men society, thought, boys in the hood, this is our yeah, movie. Yeah, because know? we can identify with that mm-hmm. better than something like this. But y'all both some handsome men. Y'all done had stalkers? Y'all done had a stalker before? Somebody who wouldn't, <laughs> who wouldn't take bath- no I'm for an answer? <laughs> You don't want to talk about the stalker? January 13th, crush. (laughs) Jay, you ain't never had a stalker? Well, well, I'm going to piggyback off that with your last question real quick. Go ahead. Go Um, ahead. But like like Mitch was saying, and to your question, uh, from from where we sitting at in the producer side, Mm -hmm. if somebody brings something to me that's creative and 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 uh, it's a dope script, Mm -hmm. I'm going to invest. It doesn't matter, like, you know, what it's talking about or what it's yeah. about. If I think I can, you know, it's it's a dope script and somebody out there can learn from it. Yeah. Then I would I would be into it. That's right. key. Right. Yeah. Um, that's dope that you said that. Yeah. Somebody can, can learn, learn from, from it. it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what people miss about Tyler Perry. Yep. And and about anything like calling him a sambo or what people yeah. say is like a Uncle Tom situation. Mm-hmm. Even Uncle Tom had a purpose. He yep. was you know doing his thing so so he could free slaves. Not to go too deep into that. That that, but I'm saying everybody got a purpose as long as we're all trying to better our people. 
You get what I'm saying? Exactly. And I feel like Medea always has a message at mm-hmm. the end. So it might mm-hmm. not be how you want to do it, yep. but you hit the nail on the head. It's a message. It's and if my message. people can get a message, yep. he got to put a dress on. I might not. I'm going to put a dress on. I'm a broad, but y'all not. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm with that. Yep. So who you think portrayed the best? So Jennifer Lopez as Selena or Tina Turner and what's love got to do? I mean, Angela Bassett and what love got to do with Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Y'all, J-Lo J- killed that role. No, she did, but I think yeah. Tina Turner had a, a bigger impact on our okay. culture. Angela okay. Bassett. Angela Bassett. Yeah, I wasn't looking yeah. at J-Lo, but yeah. where they oh. both beautiful yeah. women. I don't watch both movies. I, I've <laughs> watched Selena. I've seen both. I think. Uh, yeah, I like this, uh, this movie, Selena. Yeah, yeah. yeah that Bassett. was one of the good ones. Yeah, she played that role. Absolutely. She, From the yeah. looks to uh, everything. Yeah, everything. <laughs> she played yeah, that role. They put the picture up, too, and I'm like, yeah, she looked exactly like her. She played that Role. Okay, y'all. Team Will or Jada? <laughs> I, I, I heard, um, I think earlier, I think Marietta said they, I don't know if she couldn't decide, but yeah, I, yeah, I think she said they in cahoots. Were, they in cahoots. At this point, I think, yeah, he's a clown for <laughs> keep allowing that. I, mm-hmm. I wouldn't, I don't know no man who would, mm-hmm. I'm not going for that. So, mm-hmm. um, I'm not team neither. Okay, team yeah. fuck them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck them. Same. <laughs> yeah. Future is here. But I'm a fan of um real Will Smith, like his Fresh work. Prince. Well, yeah, his yeah, work, his work. Even his he embodied acting. Muhammad Ali. I think exactly. he did great. Yeah, everything he did. I, I was gonna say he crushed. He crushed everything. Everything. Yeah. 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 So he's you tried, respect his work. Yeah. Yeah. I respect his work without his relationship shit. Yeah, I ain't got nothing yeah. to do with that. Absolutely. Future is here. Who right? Who, who right, I ain't gonna say on. right or Who sad we on? I'm, I'm, I'm a Future right. fan. But I, look, listen, listen. No, <laughs> I, I love Sierra. I roll with Future. I used to love her. Yeah, I roll with Future, though. Future. <laughs> I, used to love, I used to be like, I had a crush on Sierra growing yeah, up. She I dope. swear, like, that was. She dope. Well, that was my crush. Team you know Puffy what I'm or Cassie. These, these are the things that's going on. About, uh, yeah, Puffy. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. You, really you can stay away that. from it. Yeah, but if if what if the allegations are true, yeah. it's, it's scary. Yeah, yeah. 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 We need to go watch the movie. <laughs> the other thing, though, you guys, that so there's there's this thing that's going on with people's staff are snitching on them. Like we, I don't know if it's the truth or not, but Will Smith was supposedly well. I will with say, uh, yeah, like they they staff. So I will say, Jay, and I'll be the first to say it here. On um, one of the days we were shooting, I walked in on you. <laughs> and and you was counting ten thousand dollars. So when it, when, when it, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't had nothing to do with that. You ain't count me in on that deal. <laughs> I was he was counting some money on set, and I I ain't know where it came from, man. That was the prop huh? money. For oh, okay, okay, yeah, it was yeah. Wasn't even real. So I was, see, I'm the, I'm on the you know the, the staff. There was, was no snitch on them. So, so it wasn't look, real. Look, <laughs> no, so once y'all start talking, making bro. these multi-billion dollar movies. So, like, I don't understand that. Do they not have to sign NDAs? Like, once you start building your staff, and I'm, I'm speaking it into existence, you guys are going to be successful. Mm-hmm. Crush is going to crush. And yeah. you're going to have multiple movies. Crush How do you protect it. yourself from your staff? And we're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes. Things going to happen. We got skeletons. I'm sure if I got an assistant, she tell my business, I'm done. No, I'm but how do you protect yourself from that? Well, everybody that played any type of role in this film had, had, contracts. had contracts. Okay. Everybody had contracts. So how are they getting away with this? Everybody. Uh, Will Smith's even, friend telling about. Yeah. yeah. I don't even want to speak on that. It, but some, whatever they had in place could have expired. Yeah. Oh, could've the NDA. That's what I was thinking. Or I loop think loop it was yeah, so many yeah. years passed. Does an NDA have to have an expiration date? Like, as long as you fuck with me, you got to be quiet. It probably depends on how the paperwork set up. You know what I'm saying? about me. But we we didn't, you know, on our set, and, like, you know, we were around, you know, a lot of beautiful people for seven, eight days. We had no problems, no issues. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly a lot of people knew each other. They yeah. they kind of already. But as you get deeper from in like, Hollywood, um, you know that's gonna change. You know you you know you like can't say that movie. you know you can't say that when you get bigger. Well, I was gonna dissect them, but well, what do you I was around a lot of beautiful people. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing so happened. I would have pride to no it all the We had no issues. Everybody was cool. Everybody was friends. Everybody everybody got along. You know, but like I think me said it was like a family. 
Yeah, no. Nah. That I'm, changes I'm, I'm, as I'm as that. you progress. As you progress. Yeah. As you start getting those those um, higher end or mm-hmm. no, nah, I won't say higher end because quality is quality. It's not what they get paid, but those those higher paid actors and actresses. Hey, yeah. just you gotta and the mess begins. Good lawyers. Yeah. Good lawyers, good, good contracts, lawyers. good NDAs. So y'all not worried about that at all? No, no. I'm Should not worried. Be. That's I'm not worried about that at all. Ain't nobody no weirdos around here. Yeah. No. Did Marietta or Marietta win the fight? What fight? January 13th. Yeah, January Crush 13th. Crush will be on um, premiere. We should be on Tubi end of January, <laughs> beginning of February. That was right. good how you crept that in. Right. 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 Yeah. Listen, get them all listen there's a, a all-star cast with this movie. Real yes. talk. Y'all just had Marietta and Hydro here. Yep. And Cunica, those three. Man. Magic. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. When, you. when you watch it, just watch they, they act and skills. Like, y'all got a chance to meet them and see them in they, their real-life form. Right. When you watch this movie, see how they played a part. It's, it's, it's amazing, man. And even, again, we had um, Curtis Barlow play um, the pastor. pastor. And yep. he's a pastor in real life. Mm-hmm. He embodied his role. Mm-hmm. Amazing guy. Right? No, no, yeah, no, 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 really. And, and another thing I spoke with about Nadia, Curtis was another guy, actually, that hooked me up with Willow and Delano. So, I don't, again, I, I forgot about that. Without him, Crush wouldn't be yep. mm-hmm. even here because he introduced me to those guys. Mm-hmm. So shout out to him, and he played a, a real important role in this movie because he had an influence on not just um, Andre and, and Marietta, well, Andre and Talisha, which is a characters, but he had a, a, a real big impact on Ebony, who plays Kunika. So you'll see his role and in, in, in what he's doing in the movie that kind of helped navigate what's going on, in a sense. Um we had we had a lot of a lot of people. I think everybody again. You'll see when you see even extras, you're gonna wait. notice some people. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. I was just I was just about to say shout out to all our extras that came out for the church scene. You know they came out, they did their thing. It was it was a good time. So I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up? You know him, Meach. When you were sitting on set, how did you feel about him and the way he acted? Did it surprise you that he was able to do this or not? We we talked and you know we so close. He kept on my feedback. I was <laughs> man, I was shocked that I've seen. You know he did he does his things in his videos. Music videos but seeing stuff, this, yeah. I was shocked that he did so well. It was like second nature. Yeah. Like <laughs> you like this nigga cat. Like, no, <laughs> like <laughs> like this dude. Man, I was it was shocked and also proud because you know from the beginning we we talked about it and he was he was kind of wavering going back and forth. I didn't want to play the part. Yeah, yeah. No, he I was going back and forth. He's like Jay, say like, man, should I be in it? I was like me, no, you can do it. You know, he was like all right. So anyway, once he when he finally did, he he made hundred percent that that he was going to do it, and then I seen a, a couple of the scenes that we seen at first. I honestly was like blown away, like that's what's up, man. And I really would him and Hydro. I would go to him first, and then Hydro for their opinion. How did I do? How did I do? How did I do? You know, I'm gonna tell him the truth. Yeah, I swear. And I'm I, and I still would even he would tell me. No, you, I'm like you sure? He like man, no, you did good, man. So and then from what I would say, he would go to Hydro yep. and, then, and then say the same thing, like. Cause you know, I'm, uh, if he did something, I'm like, I mean, you gonna bro? Tweet? I think like, we need, yeah, need, to, need to reshoot it again. You know, no, y'all is gonna it, see. <laughs> is there anything y'all would change, like do differently next time? If you have more it, time or more, or looking back in hindsight, something that you figured out, you know, after y'all was think? done or something. So the best answer for this is that you know we were so green in this industry, I wouldn't change a thing because it's all a learning curve. Mm-hmm. Me and him, we're we're learning. So we we learned a lot, mm-hmm. and we gonna a change a lot yeah. the next movie. Nice. Yeah. We already putting it in, into the air, God willing. You know, uh, we already talked about it. The next movie, it's a lot that we are gonna change, but for this movie, I wouldn't change a thing because you know we wouldn't learn the things that we learned. You know, we we learn a, a, a lot from 
dealing with the cast, the crew, behind the scenes. Um, Cause a, a lot goes into it, you know. A, a, a whole, whole lot, and then that's a, that's the other thing too. Um, we spoke on even location scouting and stuff. I, there's a lot of jobs available in this movie industry too. Mm -hmm. um, and then mm -hmm. a, another thing, like was you know, like I said, location, and then like music supervising. I guess I'm, 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 the, I'm leading that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm guiding that part of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting together the music and. Trying to get the best music for a film like this, I'm learning is a little difficult, mm -hmm. but it's it's, 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 it's it's exciting because I'm into music. But it's like it's a different it's a different realm of music for you. You can't like today I got music from a like almost like a gothic type singer, mm -hmm. and this is through a friend for it real. Fit though no, for the dark scenes, I swear. Yeah. So me just picking the right music mm -hmm. to to fit this movie. And stuff that makes sense on top of going into the studio and working real close with Wilmore Allen, mm -hmm. big time producer, um, a very talented producer in the city that I've worked with before, and I love his work. Mm -hmm. So we're in the studio creating music from scratch as well to put for this film. And um, I think y'all will be more than happy um, with the soundtrack to this Crush film. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't wait for y'all to hear that because I'm, I'm, I'm putting together a hell of a playlist. Mm -hmm. And music for it. New so. appreciation of Quincy Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, Blow or Scarface? Which one? Scarface for me. Yeah, Scarface. Scarface? Scarface, Scarface is a classic. I understand. <laughs> Blow yeah, is got, a classic. I know. Blow is a classic, but if they on TV right now, I'm going to watch Blow. I'm going to watch, well, watch I think because yeah. I'm scarface out. I think that's what it is, too. I and it's, I I, it's a nostalgia of Scarface, but... Blow right is a now, better movie, too. I got two movies to watch. I'm just going to watch. So let me Blow. ask you. I don't. I don't seen Blow maybe one time. Did he... he yeah. Did, in Blow, is it the Last same week. kind of come-up story, White Scarface? He real, though. That's it. Nice. Really? Okay. Um, like oh, Blow. You never saw Blow? I no, think I saw him like maybe once. like once. So okay. That's your homework assignment. Yeah. Yeah. Go watch Blow again. again. Cause he real. He's he's alive right now, or he might have oh, just okay. died last year. Goodfellas shit. Casino. Ooh, I like Goodfellas. If this but was drink time, I have to yeah. drink to that. Yeah. yeah. Casino. Let's drink. We could do. I, I I'm gonna drink to that. <laughs> I'm gonna drink to that. I like Goodfellas. Yeah. Though. I'm gonna put some water. Yeah. I'm gonna drink my water to that. One more. One more before we one bring more. in okay. Qunica. Uh, Menace or Boys in the Hood. Menace. I'm gonna say I was gonna say Menace too. Menace. I was gonna say Menace. I swear. Me Menace. Hello, hello. Kunika hey, is Q. here. We yeah. got Kunika. So we're gonna let we gonna look, y'all, y'all actually doing good. Y'all actually get to get, have everybody y'all self. Yeah. By herself. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So is that it for me and Jen? Yes, you guys did a great job. Thank we you. appreciate Listen, you guys for Janu coming. January thirteenth. We're having a premiere. Hi. Hold on, I'm gonna repeat this. They still doing a hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, January thirteenth. We got the premiere location um, to be announced, but please, please, please support us in this film mm -hmm. because um, not only did we just spend money, it's not about the money. We put our hard work, um, dedication, time. time, and effort into mm -hmm. making this film. Mm -hmm. So please, when you see the link on anybody's site or whoever's promoting it, please buy a ticket. And don't just buy a ticket. Show up, come out, see it, enjoy it. Thank you, Hawk. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all for having us. Yeah. Thank you for being here. We appreciate y'all. Yes. Thank you. Have a seat, Kunika. You don't understand. Okay, so I got five minutes. So I got five minutes. That's that's fine. That's all I need. All right. You want you want to leave the coat on or? Yeah, I'm gonna leave my coat on. Do I need to put this on? No. You don't have to. Okay. All right. Hey guys, I'm QK, aka Ebony. Oh, yeah, let me get one of these. <laughs> it's probably strong. You mean that? We're mad. We're mad. Okay. Me. Yeah, so look, we're going to get we're get right into it. Um, you nigga, I done see you done. transition from a bunch of stuff. I done see you do parties. I done see you do all kind of stuff. What made you get into the movie industry? Um, I've always wanted to act. I actually was in a Meech video a long time I know. ago. Really? Yeah. Truth or Dare, that's the video, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was in Truth or Dare. Are we right here? Okay, so I was in Truth or Dare with Meech, and I loved it. But, like, back in high school, I used to dance, mm -hmm. and I was popular and all of that. So, like, entertaining is... What high school? 
Kettering. Shout K-E. out to Kettering. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the performing arts. She's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that. So, what you're not privy to is that when you were not here, the Hydro oh. and Marietta were here, and they we asked them if you can name one performer in the movie that will blow us away. They both said you. They, they said that your performance was stellar. The executive producers have said your performance is stellar. They just set the bar high. When we watch this movie, yes. <laughs> we it, are looking forward to your performance. Listen. It made me realize something. What? You crazy in real life? A little bit. I think so, because <laughs> you can't be crazy for all those days. You, they, like, you was in character. Listen, I, it was hard trying to snap out of it once I got into a certain mode. <laughs> yeah. And they was right there to help me out. They was right there yeah. throughout the no, whole process. Real. So shout out to them. I that's love them. real. Because if you do, sometimes you do have to. I've heard actors, because I don't so know. I'm not actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, even with the Joker, the young man went up killing yeah, himself. Yeah. Himself when yeah. we had that fight scene and I was done, I'm going, <sighs> and they like, Q, you got to calm down. You got to calm down. Marietta came over like, just breathe. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. come on, bring yourself back. So and it I, was yeah. a transition. It was. Yeah, that's not So true. you really ain't crazy then. <laughs> you had a transition to it. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to name another actor who did a, a, a who's going to blow us away in this movie, who would it be? Listen, Hydro... <laughs> I ain't never seen him act like a nerd, so that was <laughs> like that, that yeah, was something that was something different for him. Mm-hmm. So I, I got to give it to him because he really stepped outside of himself. Who won the fight? You got to watch the movie. Okay, yeah, they know. They know. <laughs> they got y'all to get it. 13th. <laughs> you got to check out the movie. They I like, they like you know why I'm here. Right. How <laughs> were those choreographers? Oh, I got scenes. hit in the face. I'm a stay. Shout out to Marietta. She got me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sister. Yeah, but she clocked me in the face. So. Oh, it's going to happen. Though. It was fun, okay. though. I had fun. Mm-hmm. That was my first Good. fight scene. Okay. okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So when you read the script, was it like, this is this is me? This when is I me. read the script, I loved it. Um, I was ready. I was anxious. I was ready to do it. So, you were? Yeah. Yes, yes. Is there anything you want us to know? Is there anything you want to tell the public about this movie to make them come out and see it? Is it just say what's on your mind. Y'all need to come check this movie out. I bust my ass, okay? We all <laughs> did. This is hard work, passion, the grind, mm-hmm. everything. Like, I need y'all to come out and support this movie because we really worked our butt off. That's what's up. We're looking for it. You know we're going to be at the premiere. I know y'all going to be January 13th. January crush. 13th. Crush. Make sure y'all dress it up, baby. Yeah. We out here. Am I supposed Definitely to wear a suit? going to be somebody crushed. We yeah, on you the better. red carpet. I'm putting my girl on. Step. Step. I, uh, step. I think I'm going to be on red carpet. If you coming, I'm going to need you to step. Carpet. You gonna have your bow tie on? Okay. Yeah, I'm having a bow tie on. We uh, getting our shit together. Yeah, we, we coming yes. suited. I'm gonna paint know. the bottom of my heels red. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to do mine too, but it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you could drop by. We appreciate you for coming. We were excited to meet you. We're excited to see you on on screen. And we wish you nothing but the best love. We do. Thank you. <laughs> and we're sure that we'll see you again on the podcast as y'all careers grow. Yep. Don't forget about us. Don't forget about, us. about the little people. people. Don't forget about us. Don't I forget could about never. us, you know? Little Humble. people. Light skin back Humble in. Humble beast. Period. We've been in. We're going to stay in. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> Crush. Crush. All right, this is a wrap so, for another right, show. We got another show. I don't. I don't Man. really know what the number of these is. I call it the first one zero. <laughs> that was a half. And then I don't think that this could be episode one because it took us out of comfort zone because we had to be politically yeah. correct and politically um, correct. We were talking about a movie. This is our first time interviewing people yes. and not just talking. You know, I don't so. think we're going to get canceled, Jay. I don't oh, think we're going to get canceled. No. no. But you know what? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get canceled. And I think I think Doug is going <laughs> to Doug is going to do great editing for us, you know. <laughs> and you didn't talk, Doug. <laughs> Look, Doug, talk to me. Come on. What you got for? Doug, me? Come uh, on, Doug. Just clean we'll we'll it do up. a little editing. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> we might get about 9 episodes out of this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so we got to wrap it up and roll it out and prepare for the next episode. Yes. Coming soon. Yes. People don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear it. Yeah. Gotta get to this money. Gotta get to this money. They think 
I'm a genius, but I just had a plan. Step in my shoes and recruit from losing a hundred grand. I've been on foreign land, paid for what I was scam. When the time is depressing, I need another ten. See so many people switch, I swear it broke my heart. My focal point is rebuilding and I know where to start. I get it from within, but my pace is wearing thin. I got killers that's willing to they kill the closest kin. Walls closing in, but somehow I see the I light. See I'm buying everything I want, ain't nothing out of sight. What's another rally, another trip, another